Atrial fibrillation, or AF, is the most common sustained cardiac arrhythmia. Arrhythmic episodes are triggered by electrical activity and can result in both blood clots and stroke. In fact, one in three strokes in persons over the age of 60 are a result of AF. This disease is self-perpetuating. There is a greater risk of persistence and recurrence over time. AF leads to rate-dependent atrial changes, collectively defined as atrial remodeling. Shortening of the atrial effective refractory period, or AERP, and decreased conduction velocity are among the hallmarks of atrial remodeling. Pharmacological strategies to inhibit remodeling, thereby reducing the self-perpetuating nature of AF, are of great clinical value. Cannabinoid receptor ligands may exert cardioprotective effects. CB13 is a dual cannabinoid receptor agonist with limited brain penetration and has been shown by our lab previously that it protects hypertrophic cardiomyocytes from mitochondrial dysfunction. Here, I'm examining the effects of CB13 on the development of tachypasin-induced atrial remodeling. Rat hearts are perfused in a Langendorf setup with CB13 or vehicle control. Hemodynamic properties of non-paced hearts were examined conventionally, and in another set of hearts, program stimulation protocol was performed before and after atrial tachypasin using a novel mini-hook platinum electrode. This was inserted on the right atrium and is in collaboration with Yuan Essien at Ben Gayron University. Atrial samples were further assessed by Western Blot. CP13 had no effects on the basal hemodynamic properties. However, the compound inhibited tachypasin-induced shortening of AERP, one of the hallmarks of AF. We also found that phosphorylation of AMPK alpha at residue 3 172 was increased, suggesting upregulation of mitochondrial biogenesis. Furthermore, protein expression of PQC1 alpha was also increased by CD13 compared to vehicle in both paste and non paste hearts. Lastly, connexin 43, a major gap junction in cardiomyocytes that is crucial for cell to cell communication is usually downregulated in pathophysiological conditions and is associated with arrhythmias. We not only found that connexin-43 was downregulated by tachypasin, this effect was diminished by CB13. Our findings support the notion that CB13 attenuates pathophysiological changes that cause AERP decreases over time, likely through an AMPK-mediated response, and peripheral activation of cannabinoid receptors may be a new treatment strategy to prevent atrial remodeling in patients suffering from AF and therefore warrants further study. Thank you.